God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. To Christ the Prince of Peace, and Son of God Most High, the Father of the world to come, sing we with holy joy. Deep in his heart for us, the wound of love he bore, that love wherewith he still inflames the hearts that him adore. O Jesu, victim blessed, what else but love divine could thee constrain to open thus that sacred heart of thine? O fount of endless life, O spring of water clear, O flame celestial, cleansing all, who unto thee draw near. Praise to the Father be, and so begotten Son, praise holy paraclete to thee, while endless ages run. Lord, I cry to you for help, and you have healed me. I will thank you forever. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me, and I have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cry to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to the Lord, you love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment, his favour all through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself, and my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favour has set me on a mountain fastness. Then you hid your face, and I was put to confusion. To you, Lord, I cried, to my God I made appeal. What profit would my death be my going to the grave? Can task give you praise or proclaim your truth? The Lord listened and had pity, the Lord came to my help. For me you have changed my morning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you unceasingly. O Lord my God, I will thank you forever. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, I cry to you for help and you have healed me. I will thank you forever. Happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt. 
and with a man whose offence is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile, a gifted secret of my frame was wasted, I groaned a day long. For night and day your hand was heavy upon me, indeed my strength was dried up as by the summer's heat. But now have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said I will confess my offence to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in the time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but him they shall not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord. You save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like my horse and mule and intelligent, needing bridle and bit. Else they will not approach you. Many sorrows as the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Exalt you just. O oh, come, ring at your joy, all you are bright of heart. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. Happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt. The Lord has given him power and honour and empire, and all peoples will serve him. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him, by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives, even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has given him power and honour and empire, and all peoples will serve him. This is a cause of great joy for you, even though you may for a short time have to bear being plagued by all sorts of trials, so that when Jesus Christ is revealed, your faith will have been tested and proved like gold. Only it is more precious than gold, which is corruptible, even though it bears testing by fire. And then you will have praise and glory and honour. You did not see him, yet you love him. And still without seeing him, you are already filled with a joy so glorious that it cannot be described, because you believe, and you are sure of the end to which your faith looks forward, 
that is the salvation of your souls. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. He filled us with honey from the rock. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. The Lord brought down the mighty from their seats, and raised up the lowly. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercies from age to age. On those who fear him, he puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. The Lord brought down the mighty from their seats and raised up the lowly. Let us make our prayer to the God of our salvation, because all our hope rests in him. Father, our trust is in you. Father, you established a covenant with men. We trust in you, for you are faithful to your word. Father, our trust is in you. Send workers into the harvest and bring the world to the knowledge and love of you. Father, our trust is in you. May the unity of the church be formed by love and understanding. Gather us together through the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Father, our trust is in you. Help men to create a community where justice and peace may flourish. Be with us, lest we labour in vain. Father, our trust is in you. Be mindful of the dead, especially those we have known. Have mercy on those who have given us their help. Father, our trust is in you. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you give the moon to illumine the night, and to dispel the darkness you bring in the light of day. Grant that during this night we may elude the grasp of Satan, and in the morning 
rise to give you praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.